Scary moments for people living in a central Stockton neighborhood after shots are fired inside a home. Police say a 69 year old woman was killed and her roommate was rushed to the hospital all after being shot. Right now, officers are trying to figure out exactly what sparked the violence. CBS 13's Carlos Gray is in Stockton with the very latest on this investigation. Stockton police officers have arrested a 30 year old man who lived inside that home. He was caught near the crime of the scene hours after that deadly shooting. 69 year old Gloria Navarro was known for sitting right by her front door. She spent a lot of quality time with loved ones and even made small talk with several neighbors. She was nice. She always had a smile on her face, always. You know, sitting on her porch. The single family home she shared with two men is also the place she was violently killed. All I heard was pow, pow, pow. I was getting ready to go to the floor, but I was saying to myself, the shots are awfully close. <laughs> Police say they found two people suffering from gunshot wounds. The first victim was Navarro, who was pronounced dead at the scene. The second victim was a 44-year-old man who is being treated at an area hospital and is expected to survive. Our homicide team, and as you can imagine, they were very busy yesterday looking for witnesses, and we were fortunate that they were able to develop information on who the suspect was, and then late last night, they were able to arrest that suspect. The man being charged with the shooting and the death of Navarro is this man, 30-year-old Forrest Gilliam. Detectives say Gilliam was arrested after police spotted him walking by the home hours after the shooting. I feel relieved that he's, they got him. That's the most important part. He, he got, he, he's going to get what he deserves. The shooting death is Stockton's 27th homicide of the year. Officers are not releasing how the victims are related, but neighbors say Navarro and the 44-year-old man were mother and son. Gilliam, they say, recently moved into the home. Family killing family now, and it's really sad. Police say this is the fourth homicide to happen in that area in the last couple of weeks. Gilliam faces homicide charges and remains in the San Joaquin County Jail. Carlos, thank you.